I've just come around that headland which pretty much marks the end of my 3,000 kilometer journey from my home in the south of France. Very sexy looking Skoda, done me proud. Been very uncomplaining all the way, but it's been an incredible drive. Everything they've ever told you about Iceland couldn't possibly begin to give you the full flavor of this place. It is just incredible. The colors, the shapes, the topography, the landscape, the bleakness, the sense of loneliness, the danger, and it's not even winter yet. This is August. This is, this is tourist season. Anyway, welcome to the incredible fjord of Isafjorda, which is the town that you may be able to make out right at the back of the bay behind me and the location of the university center of the West Fjords, where I'm going to be based for the next nine months. Maybe more if this place gets under my skin. Let's go and find my student digs. I'm living in a shared flat. I've got to find out if I can afford to get drunk in this town. I suspect I can't, <laughs> given my experience <laughs> today. I visited the Sheep Museum in Hornavik. There really is one. I can't tell you much about it because it was all in Icelandic. <laughs> but I do recommend the lamb toasty. Very nice. After a week on the road, this car is properly student. And that is Isafjorda's landing strip, which if you Google it, the first 20 results are the world's craziest landings. So if you like a hairy ride, fly into Isafjorda. I haven't done it yet, but I'm looking forward to that. I think over there you might be able to make out one of the cruise ships that comes in here. Believe it or not, this town is 1,500 people and they get cruise ships of at least that that come in on a regular basis. Crazy. What amazing landscape. Outside my student digs and my friend Alan who lives nearby has called. He says the elves told him. How did he know I was here? Iceland is a very strange place. Right, I'm going to find my student flat. Look at that mountain. <laughs> and they don't lock the doors. Ooh, it's cozy. Student house. Hello. Luxury. It's warm. It ain't with nail. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Give it time. I swear when I went to uni when I was 19, I had a backpack on the train. Now look, what happened? <laughs> you go to work, you make money, and you acquire stuff. But don't get me wrong, I like my stuff. I like my bikes. However impractical they're going to be. Uh... Alright, let's get unpacked. <laughs> 